In today's lesson, the students were given a topic to discuss the historical legacy of Andrew Jackson. In the past, they've been presented with two historical interpretations, being asked to compare and contrast. But in today's debate, they brought their own interpretation and argument to the table and were in groups debating what they believed the legacy of Andrew Jackson is. So the structure of the debate, I had them just create an opening statement, which was an overarching view of their argument, but then they had to come up with three questions that they would ask the opposing side. They were also required to come up with five pieces of evidence that would support their interpretation. In a debate format, if I'm assigning students one perspective or the other, um, it's to get them to just think about how that argument is formulated and how support can be used to support their argument. but. I always give them room to then bring in their own voice. So in today's debate, right, we did the first half of the debate in terms of you're making the argument based on what you've been assigned, but the last part of class was really letting their own voice come through so that they can share their own thoughts and opinions, not just what they were assigned. Uh, debating in a class setting is really fun in history. I think I really do enjoy being able to discuss controversial issues because it really gets you thinking, especially when you have the ability to bounce ideas off of people who don't think the same way that you do. It provided me with a lot of insight on different interpretations that I didn't even think of in my research. And it really, the reason that I enjoyed it because it really shows what you're made of in terms of like knowing your stuff. So how does your preparation compare to the other people's? So I think it's a really effective way to like get like the content of what you're learning down, but it also helps you like create the ability to have civil discourse with people because you're building these like ability to communicate in a more formal setting. I think um, this whole idea of critically thinking, analyzing, but then also coming up with an argument and being able to accurately defend your argument is a good life skill. And in terms of just the historical lesson, I think one of the things that I emphasize in this class is that history is a debate. It's something that we engage in. It's not just the memorization of facts, but it's various interpretations and diving into those interpretations to come up with your own conclusions. Debating is one of my favorite types of activities, uh, especially in the classroom. I really do enjoy public speaking, and it really it allows me to prepare materials in a way that I'm going to connect with it. So I would say that's why history has always been one of my more favorite classes, because it's one of those classes that's really centralized on speaking and being able to share your ideas and interpretations with others because there's not necessarily always going to be a concrete right answer because there's different interpretations that you can take based on how you value evidence which is why history and especially these types of assignments have always been like some of the most entertaining everyone's always engaged because it really allows you to think as an individual and not just regurgitate facts.